know, the other day while I was walking on the road, the Lord gave me this vision of a very, very powerful spiritual warfare happening over the United States of America with the elections that are just coming up. I know this is such a strong thing. I saw the demons, they were just fleeing. They were so scared and petrified because they felt like, you know, they were being threatened. Um, their time of just going around and uh, promoting wickedness is coming to an end. And that's the vision that I saw. And, and, and as I was just praying, I was led to speak in tongues and pray over the United States. And this is what I want you to understand. That word just that came into my spirit was how in the days of Elijah, you know, there was a three and a half years of famine. But there was a sudden turnaround, a shift that took place. You know, I believe that the drought and the rise of wickedness over this United States has prevailed for the last uh, three and a half to almost four years. This is coming to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. This is a word for you to understand that God is going to bring a turnaround. God is about to bring a shift. God is about to do a new thing. And I believe, decree and declare that every word that the Lord has spoken over his promise prophets over everybody that God has shown so many amazing things amazing encounters I believe that he is faithful to keep his promises he is faithful to keep every word that he has spoken he has led his ministers to speak you know even in my life I've seen so many so many uh, incidents that happened where uh, the Lord took me into the White House in the spirit to pray over President Trump the Lord showed me uh, about his assassination attempt through a vision much in advance and when that happened the Lord said see everything that I've shown you and all the prophets every word I have spoken into your spirit I'm going to make them come to pass God is faithful the delay does not mean that God has forgotten his promise the delay does not mean that God is not keeping up his word the delay means that God is up to something and I want to just let you guys know this important truth you know the reason I'm sharing this is not for myself you know, this was something in my spirit. The Lord was just stirring in my spirit so strong. And I, I just had to release this word to say that, you know what? We need to stand on to be on the right side of history. We need to pray, intercede that wickedness will not prevail, but godliness will prevail. That every scheme of the enemy will not uh, triumph, but God will show up and he will rise above and he will sovereignly reign over his people. And the name of Jesus will be lifted and glorified. I want to just close with this example. People choose a leader based on their identity. Like for example, in the United States of America, a lot of people just choose Harris just because of her Indian origin or a black heritage. But this is the word that the Lord was putting in my spirit. Guys, if you were choosing somebody based on their identity, it's like in India, a lot of people choose somebody based on their caste. Caste system is still prevalent. I want you to understand something very important here. When you check in the scripture, there was a moment when Rahab chose to side with the people of Israel and that's why she was saved. She seemed like she was going against her own people. She didn't side with her own group, but she stood up on the right side of history. That's why we still speak about Rahab. Today, I want you to be encouraged. That sometimes you need to go against your own identity, your own group of people, your own family, your own friends. But that's the way to stand on the right side of history. Today, my challenge is don't go by identity politics. Go by biblical politics. Which policy stands by what the Lord is speaking, what the Lord is showing. And, and I'm going to tell you something. I'm not saying that President Trump is perfect, that he has everything on the right side, like he's doing everything perfect, like he's a human being. The Lord just put this in my spirit, you know, as a man who is following a calling, I, I could understand and relate a lot with him. And I, I was just burdened to pray for him. And I believe that, you know, we are called to pray for his imperfections, especially his mouth when he says certain things. I don't, I don't say that I agree with everything, but here's the thing, you know, we need to stand with the one who is going to be on the right side of history. No, the scripture talks about David. You know, that that's whenever I see Pre President Trump, I'm always reminded of David. You know, David was an adulterer. David made mistakes. He was not perfect, but his heart was right. And I and I see the same here because there was a moment when the Lord took me into the White House. While I'm here, he took me to the White House in the spirit to pray over him. And he was praying and the Lord led me to lay my right hand on his shoulder and to pray. 
And I believe that, you know, the Lord was saying, his heart is right. He may not know everything. He may not be the accurate pastor biblically. But, you know, we need to be on the side of history. Because being in a nation like where I am, I've seen what it means to say that, you know what, we need to take the right side based on policy. So I challenge each one of you, don't vote based on identity, vote based on the policy. And that's my challenge. And I pray in the name of Jesus that we will hear a good news of the Lord's hand upon this nation, that people will choose wisely and that the nation will not only start getting back on the right track, but it will start being a beacon of hope and light to the nations of the world. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you.